I'm Susan Harrison, I'm Collections Curator for English Heritage. I'm part of the team that's bringing together the new Revo Abbey Museum development. What's fantastic about this collection is the number of stories that it brings out about the people that used to live on our sites, those that worked on our sites. The medieval church was typically divided into lots and lots of spaces for different uses by screens. This is part of what was called the pulpitum screen, which divided the crossing from the choir. It's heavily decorated and this is the top level of one of them and you can see the, the detail level of carving all the way across this. It's a remarkable survival from Revo. Here we've got some fantastic sections of the infirmary frieze from Revo Abbey. It's dated to about 1400. This piece here tells the tale taken from a medieval book of beasts, a bestiary. It shows the tale of two hunters went to steal a tiger's cubs. And in order to make a getaway, they throw a mirror down into the pursuing tiger's path. The tiger looks into the mirror and mistakes her own reflection for that of her cubs and so stops giving chase. This was one of four fathers of lead found during the clearance of the monastery in the 1920s. It was discovered by the west front of the nave and it had been buried there since the 16th century when the building had collapsed over it. What happened in the 1920s is that three of the four were gifted to York Minster to re-lead the Five Sisters window. These are just a few of the most amazing stories that will be revealed when we open our new museum at Revo this year.